Well, it's going to be an extra special day for the Quinn and Chant families at Adelaide Oval on Sunday when Port Adelaide take on Geelong in the battle for top spot. The club is honouring its heroes who served in all wars. Now, among them, the legendary Jewel McGarry medalist Bob Quinn and two who didn't return, Bob's younger brother George and Peter Chant, who was killed in action in Vietnam. And as Frank Pangallo reports, the initiative now has historians scouring records to compile a complete list of South Australian League footballers who marched to war. And do you remember who they died for? Lest we forget, lest we forget. There's a noise 10 metres in front on the left. Now there's movement crossing the track ahead and into the jungle on the right. Today, I'm sure there will be bloodshed. Struck a big bunker complex. His forward scout got pinned down by machine gun fire. This is where it starts to get interesting and you know the meaning of tents. Peter being the sex commander, crawled up with him and sort of gave return fire so his forward scout could get out. And when Peter went to come get out, they opened up from the other side of the bunker complex and, um, and shot him. Mum got a knock up on the door to say he was killed, and that was it. To protect us from evil from a foreign land, and do you remember who they died for? Lest we forget. It was Valentine's Day, 1969. Lance Corporal Peter Chant was only 29 and had been a soldier with the 9th Royal Australian Regiment for just 94 days when he died in a hail of gunfire. The 9th Battalion fellas used to call Peter after the um, uh, Australian coat of arms, which were the kangaroo and the emu, the only animals that could not walk backwards. And uh, that was Peter, and all would not walk backwards. <laughs> Always ahead. Always ahead, yes. Obvious leadership qualities, uh, m magnificent man management qualities. Pete was so quiet, uh, you wouldn't know he was in the room unless you turned and saw him sitting next to you. Uh, he was an honest, sincere bloke. He was the sort of bloke that you met, you liked. Lest we forget, lest we forget. Before enlisting, Peter was a handy rover with Port Adelaide. He became the first and only SANFL player killed in action in Vietnam. Career soldier Grant Carmody is married to Peter's sister Jan. He too served in Vietnam and saw his brother-in-law on the day he died. Quite a heroic act, putting his life on the line like that. I thought so. I thought he should have at least got an MID or something like that mentioned in dispatches. The worst part, I suppose, I had to attend a funeral by myself. Your dad was also at Tobruk and one of the rats. Yes, he was. Yeah, he served. Uh, he served in uh, Tobruk. He was a uh, um, dad. Actually, received his um, commission um, on the, in the field uh, in Tobruk. The historians tell me that it's a it's a bit of a rarity for that to happen. So he, uh, he was he was a pretty good leader, apparently, of men. So we're really proud of him. Magpie's immortal Bob Quinn was a hero in Tobruk where he won the military medal and was badly wounded. Dad often used to speak of the doctor that, that saved his leg and um, as I said he, he rehabilitated, he got rehabilitated and then went to New Guinea and then got wounded again in New, New Guinea in the arm and across the face um, and then came home again um, obviously when the war finished and um, got patched up again and uh, continued his football career and, and won another McGarry medal. The leg was was a big f thing for him to carry, um, not only when he went to New Guinea um, to serve again, but also when he came home. And I think that sort of restricted him in the end, but he, was, he managed to um, play some pretty good footy when he came back with Port Adelaide. However, Bob's younger brother, George, wasn't as lucky. He'd played only a handful of games for the Magpies when he too went off to war. George was, um, joined up underage and um, and then got, um, he was uh, killed by the age of 19 in, in Palestine in 
Second World War, so George unfortunately never never made it home. Port will commemorate the Quinn brothers and Peter Chart at Sunday's Anzac Clash with Geelong, when their families present the club with their service medals, along with Bob's two McGarry's. His son Greg says he couldn't think of a better home for them. We want everyone to enjoy, um, you know, Dad's and George's medals, and the heartland is where I think. You know, he would love them to be, and I'm sure you know, if George was here, that's where they, they I think they deserve to be, and, um, you know, we, we're more than happy to have them down at Alvin. What a, what, what a man. What courage. And very, like Peter Chant, a very quiet and humble man. The idea to link Peter Chant's war service with his footy club came from Vietnam veterans Dennis Way, who now lives in Hong Kong, and Mick Mummery, both served with Peter in 9 RAR. He'd been earmarked apparently for uh, fairly early promotion because he could handle, he could sort out problems that occurred between uh, the diggers without any fuss whatsoever. He, he, was, a, he was a smart fellow. And he could play footy a bit too. It was only Foss Williams's star-studded Magpies list of the 1960s that kept Peter on the bench a lot of the time. It was forgotten, maybe forgotten in, in the Port Adelaide Football Club. Uh, he's never been forgotten by his mates in Charlie Company. So that's why each Valentine's Day, the SA chapter of 9 RAR, including honorary member John Schumann, who wrote the eponymous Vietnam anthem Only 19, gather at Centennial Park Cemetery to honour Peter Chant's memory. Quite a shock when you learnt he had been killed in action. Uh, indeed, uh, those sorts of things, uh, uh, when it's someone you know and someone you res well, it's somebody you know at all, but when you know them and respect them as well, it, it does come uh, as quite a, uh, a shock and an event that you don't ever forget. We think back on Peter and uh, Army, football, the guy himself, uh, it's just brilliant. The project also unearthed a long forgotten honour roll listing port players who fought and died in both world wars. It appears incomplete, so it's given Mick and his mates another mission to find others in time for the 100th Anzac anniversary and are calling on other SANFL clubs to follow their lead. People don't realise that these soldiers that go away and offer their lives, sometimes pay that price, are also people who did all the other things that we did. Played football, surfed, got married, had children apart from those who paid that supreme sacrifice. Another day down in the funny country, a night of dreams to follow the day. Less we forget. Oh, Frank Pangallo there, and if you happen to know a footy player who went to war, let us know via our Facebook page, even our website. But we'll be back with more right after this.